um, today I thought I'd show you a, a something else that's been in that I've had for a while. Now this is the Steyr Maglica 1886 in uh, chambered in 1158 Wendler. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. So uh, this is a uh, this came from Chile. It's an Austro-Hungarian, an Austrian really, uh, but Austro-Hungarian made um, rifle that was then sold on to Chile. And uh, well, let's have a closer look at the rifle, and then I'll um, you know explain a bit more about that. This particular rifle came out of Chile, as I mentioned before. It was in a right, right bad state. Um, rust covered, wood was pitted, dry, horrible. So I sanded down, I got as much of the surface rust off as possible. There's pitting, there's nothing I can do about. The barrel was good though. Um, the wood, I don't know, has burn marks on it. It was dry, it was, it was an absolute state. So um, did what I could to get a lot of the bumps out. Some were as deep as craters on the moon. It was, it, I mean, I'm not joking, it was a right mess. Anyway, cleaned it up as best as I could and um, I'm quite happy with the result, considering what it looked like before. I reckon the best thing that Ferdinand came up with uh, was the five rounds containing a stamped steel frame, basically a uh, kind of charger. So that was inserted into the magazine with the cartridges. Uh, I think the earlier 1885, the anti-clip came out of the top of the magazine after extracting, whereas this, the 1886, the clip uh, you know, fell from the bottom of the magazine. So the caliber was still the the, 18, uh, the 1158 Verdler. I think it was loaded a little bit hotter due to the you know uh, the improved strength of the magnetic reaction. So uh, production, well, when production started for at least six months, the Austrians had probably the best rifle in the world. That is until the French introduced the Lebel with their new super eight millimeter uh, smokeless round. That pretty much <laughs> made every other rifle in the world obsolete. So production of the 1886 stopped in about 1887 when the 1888 was introduced and that closed the gap um, when the, with the introduction of the Austrians' own uh, 8mm, so the 8 for 50 r uh, which was technically actually, I think, superior to the 8 Lebel. So half of the 1886s were converted to fire the new round, while the other half, which is one of these, was sold to Chile, where... And apparently they saw bitter action in the crude civil war. So now I've uh, probably bored you to death with some basic information on the rifle, why don't we have a look at its shooting at around about 300 yards at my favourite range in Italy, uh, Lodrino. See you later. Hit. Hit. Oh yeah, baby. With your heart, I can feel. Your blind game over me. Un po' basso. Drops me away, well I can Hit. Hit. Oh, it's like a Rolls Royce. A little bit low. Which you wanted to have. Con questo, cook, 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 c
<ride> altri due, altri due, il papà è altri due. Ok. Perché ha visto dove spara e gli prende tutti. Venite i corsi. No, ma dovresti averne ancora qualcuno. Detto. 